is one of the most diverse engineering and scientific organizations in the world. The U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center conducts R&D in support of the Corps of Engineers Civil Works Mission, military installations, warfighter support, as well as for other agencies and U.S. industries through innovative work agreements. Erdic Civil Works Business Area contributes to the strength of the nation by providing innovative and environmentally sustainable solutions to the nation's water resource challenges. Among those challenges is navigating aging waterways with newer ships. Engineers and ship pilots can now meet those challenges virtually by evaluating navigation channel designs, modifications, and safety issues using real data in a simulated environment. The pilots from Port of Long Beach came in as, as well as LA District engineers from the LA District. The first thing we tested were, were the Pier J turns. So you had to turn, come into the breakwater, go around Pier J, turn left into Pier J. The turn they had designed was not wide enough. These large ships, they're 1,300 feet long, they're, they're 150 feet or more wide, and they kept running the ground in our simulation. After a day of simulation, we sat down with engineers and with pilots, and we actually drew a larger radius turn into Pier J. Came back the very next day and tested those. The pilots were actually able to turn into Pier J successfully and um, to their mind comfortably, so safely. And by the end of the week, we had an alternative for Pier J and for the deeper channel that was feasible and fit within the district's BC ratio and that the pilots were comfortable using. In my opinion, the ship simulator is world class. That includes both the graphics, the uh, hydraulic model used to simulate the tides and currents within the Port of Long Beach and the actual staff itself. I thought the staff was uh, expertly run both in how they address the uh, numerical model of the ship itself, the, numeric, the hydraulic numerical model and the actual conduct of the sim simulation study and how they treated the port pilots that were a very important part of the study. Erdic is here to provide premier engineering construction, operational and environmental management products and services for the Army, Air Force, and other agencies. One area of concern is completing expeditionary construction with fewer resources. Enter the automated construction of expeditionary structures. Megan and her team have developed an awesome system, a massive 3D printer. We can print buildings in under a day. We can print walls uh, in hours uh, instead of uh, days or weeks, and really an enabling technology. We had soldiers out here. I think we had about six soldiers out here and uh, trained them up in one day, and they're operating the machinery the next day. Uh, able to print buildings on site, on demand, and it's pretty exciting stuff. Not only that, those six soldiers, after one day of printing, they were able to train the next group of soldiers that came out here. I didn't train them at all. They were trained by soldiers who had only one day of training. And we're excited to move forward and uh, continue the robotics and, and building. Erdic provides cutting edge solutions for Army installations, training ranges, and contingency basing with focus on the areas of environmental sustainability and energy security, enabling readiness and operational success. So my name is Sandra Newell. Here at Erdic, I'm a research biologist and team leader. So I've been at Erdic uh, for 11 years. So my team very broadly looks at the environmental impacts of activities by the Army and the Army Corps of Engineers. We look at both exposure and effects assessment to try to determine what the impacts of dredging or training might be on the environment. The work that I do is important to me and to others because of the impacts it has. Now relative to other things going on at Erdic that you know directly save soldiers lives, some of our impacts are a little farther out and uh, we just have to be more effective at communicating them. So many times on installations um, the training activities that need to happen for soldiers can be constrained by the presence of contamination or threatened and endangered species on installations. And so our work on environmental components of that ecosystem effectively allow us to train the way we need to in the areas we need to. Each year, the Corps sends hundreds of people to respond to disasters around the world. When disasters occur, it is not just a local Corps district or office that responds. Personnel and other resources are mobilized across the country to carry out our response missions. Erdic personnel did not hesitate when the call went out after Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria. 
In addition to personnel, Erdic technology was also used in the aftermath of the hurricanes. The Corps deployed the Operation Blue Roof Field Management System, a smartphone-based data collection system that was developed in 2010 by U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Reachback Operations Center and Information Technology Laboratory. The digital system was designed to replace paper forms and capture the mission digitally from the start to provide real-time data tracking using iPhones and iPads instead of clipboards. ERDIC brings the power of research, development, and technology to the core interagency and international services programs. The U.S. Antarctic Program at McMurdo Station, Antarctica, tapped ERDIC to research, design, and implement an airfield solution that had multiple requirements. The primary goal of the study was to improve the efficiency of airfield operations through a reduction in costs and in redundancy of facilities and personnel needed to operate a three airfield complex during the height of the summer season that had to accommodate different sized aircraft. The analysis of operations studied prevailing environmental conditions such as wind direction and velocity, wind blown dust, snow accumulation, and subsurface structure of ice and snowpack over a five year span. The outcome yielded a site that met all requirements. But it doesn't end at wheels up. The research still has potential applications in other locations, such as Alaska, Canada, Greenland, and other Arctic countries. Erdic knows that location and spatial relationships, as well as geographical data and information, are the central elements of success in the battle space environment. So Erdic's Geospatial Research and Engineering Business Area provides the data, analytic tools, information and decision framework capabilities to ensure superior situational awareness of the battle space environment for the warfighter. delivers cutting-edge technology in direct support of the warfighter through our military engineering business area, enabling force protection, projection, and maneuver. We're here at the Sicily Drop Zone uh, training new methods and materials for airfield damage repair. So this is the Army's airborne mission. Uh, we've got the representation from the 20th Engineer Brigade and the 82nd Airborne Division. You get four of those pieces of sand grid. We're training them not only on the use of new equipment sets, but also some new material. These pieces of equipment are used to go out and repair a bomb cratered airfield. Can we do this with more modular platforms? Things that will attach to skid steers. Skid steers are nice because uh, you have a single construction platform with different attachments. The Erdic guys have developed some new anchoring systems and some new FRP matting, which is fiber reinforced polyethylene. It has better strength, it's a more rigid, a resilient matting system. It also has new anchoring bushings, so it's able to withstand the braking forces of a C-17. Being able to start bringing in air lands as quickly as possible onto an airfield is, is very, very important. We obviously are getting all your essential supplies down to your paratroopers, um, all the additional equipment that you're going to need to expand lodgement in that area, and that's, that's what our you know, main focus is. We want to be able to see, look back and say what we did uh, really made a difference. I've always uh, feel passionate about art and creating new things, that's kind of my thing, and um, I've always loved math. Back when I was in high school, looking for the discipline that could combine both of my passions, uh, engineering was the perfect fit. I like working for Erdic. You're only limited by your imagination. It reduces the amount of material that has to be carried or deployed somewhere else uh, for crater repair. Once the foam is completely dispensed, they move to the next grader and we wait until the foam sets. Engineered Resilient Systems, or ERS, is developing capabilities that will transform how the DOD designs and builds the next generation of defense systems. ERS is setting the stage for how acquisitions will be done in the future by providing greater accuracy in modeling designs through tools that allow us to gain deeper insights from data. As a result, better decisions produce better systems. ERS is working to evaluate big data quickly and efficiently, create visualization techniques that produce significant design insights, and 
use high-fidelity physics models to improve accuracy of results. These tools help decision makers better understand design options, such as capabilities and mission effectiveness versus lifecycle cost. This allows the acquisition community to focus on the resiliency and versatility of a system, as DoD missions are rapidly changing and evolving despite shrinking budgets. ERS is bringing together engineers and scientists across the DoD, industry, and academia to develop and use these tools. The result? Better ships, better aircraft, and better ground vehicles, all financially sustainable into the next century. None of our research and development could take place without world-class facilities and a workforce with innovative skill sets tailored to meet the needs of this unique environment. Erdic, discovering, developing, and delivering new ways to make the world safer and better every day.